So, this the season, Snapdragon chips are getting more powerful, and Samsung Galaxies might actually get less expensive. Because yes, it looks like Samsung has a pretty good alternative for the Galaxy S21's price tag as the Note series disappears. Qualcomm just announced their next generation Snapdragon processor for next year's flagships, and if you have an iPhone 12 with some connectivity issues, trust me, you're not alone. I'm Jaime Rivera. Yes, I agree. This is the coolest t-shirt ever. I also agree we should be in Maui celebrating, but regardless, we've got a ton of Snapdragon announcements for today. This is Pocket Now Daily powered by Qualcomm. Stick around to learn what happened today in the Snapdragon Summit Day 1. And guess what? We are starting December 2020 with deals because, I mean, you saw it coming. This is what we usually do. And they keep getting better. Let's start it off with the deals that are just too good to be true from Samsung. Those Samsung deals that we've been covering, they're actually still available. So again, these are trade-in deals, but you can currently get the Galaxy Z Fold 2 for $1,000, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra for a crazy $599, and other cool products like the Z Flip 5G for just $300. And yes, the Galaxy S line is also available starting at 140 for the S20 FE and all the way up to 740 for the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So yeah, go for the Note or any other. Again, these are all trade-in deals, but the $100 credit that we mentioned yesterday is no longer available. So just keep that in mind. Now let's talk iPhone 12 Pro Max on a similar approach as Verizon currently has it on a buy one, get one free deal, where of course you have to get an installment plan, but you can get the second one for free. Now moving on to B&H, we have a huge Apple sale going on with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, currently $300 off, leaving the entry level variant in LTE connectivity for $849, and then the 16 inch MacBook Pro is $300 off, which means it starts at $2499. And guys, those trade-in Samsung deals were just part of the story, in addition to the Apple ones as well, so follow the links in the description, and also follow the article at pocketnow.com that offers everything. Now let's move on to NVIDIA, as by now, with the GPU launches that we've gotten from the company this year, I feel they're just showing off. Like seriously, they are literally owning it. The company just announced a new GPU in their RTX 3000 family. So far, the company already provided us with some crazy powerful GPUs this year, but now it looks like if they're adding to their affordable side. The new GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is priced at just $399, and it reportedly offers more power than the RTX 2080 Super, which costs $699. They are advertising it as an affordable latest generation entry into the world of ray trace gaming and it's a decent option for 1440p gaming kind of like the xbox series s when it comes to specifications this thing brings enhanced ray tracing cores and ai processing tensor cores that offer a 2x throughput it has a base clock speed of 1.41 gigahertz and it boosts up to 1.67 gigahertz with 8 gigs of gddr6 memory It'll be available up for grabs as of tomorrow for $3.99. And seriously, why do I feel that uh, this made it to the script for some other reasons? Now let's move on to Samsung. As we have to admit, the company has been launching true wireless earbuds for years along with their Galaxies. And even if they're not in the box, we've got to hand it to Samsung for their aggressive price points, making that almost a bundle if you do the math. I mean, think about it. They've been doing it for the past couple of years, starting with the Gear Icon X. And well, for the S21 season approaching, we have some reports of what to expect. According to Sam Mobile, Samsung will be launching a successor to the Galaxy Buds Plus. These will bring two major improvements, which are active noise cancellation and an improved ambient mode. They're expecting to bring the same type of in-ear design, but of course, with A and C this time around. However, this was a report over the weekend. Now we have a new report from my smart price with new information apparently these were just certified by the fcc and they will be called the galaxy buds pro that ain't make sense as we're expecting the same design with a and c which is considered a pro feature and they will also bring a new squared case kind of like the regular airpods case so yeah we'll keep you posted as obviously more leaks are only going to continue to emerge as we get closer to january which means now now, Apple launched their iPhone lineup a couple of weeks ago in the case of the latest Pro Max and Mini, and also the mainstream ones pretty much almost a month ago. And yes, this is their first 5G smartphone. And well, my experience has been positive, but it hasn't been the story for many. And we have to admit that now that we think back, we actually kind of dealt with the same problem. 
Over 500 users are claiming that they have issues with their iPhone 12 dropping coverage unexpectedly. The main user who posted the claim says that he activated his phone on Saturday and on Sunday after a short drive, this phone had no reception and no service labeled to the point where the iPhone indicated that it was not activated. He then went to say that the only way to get connection back was to toggle airplane mode on and off. Just for some context, he had the 5G auto on AT&T, and once he switched to LTE, the same thing happened, even after resetting the network settings. Apparently, he talked to Apple support, and even with the installing of two profiles on it, the issue kept happening. He posted this on Reddit, where a ton of other users are having the same problem. And guys, Theo and I actually have been having sort of the same issue. Not to the point where it says that the device is not activated anymore, but definitely in a way where we lose reception and we've had to restart our devices. In all fairness though, as I mentioned in the beginning, it happened once. It's not something we've been able to replicate again, so could just be the recent software update. We don't know, but we will keep you posted. We would like to thank Qualcomm for sponsoring this video. Yes, today was day one of the company's Digital Tech Summit, where they have announced their latest flagship Snapdragon 888 5G mobile platform. This new SoC comes with a third generation Qualcomm Snapdragon X60 5G modem, which enables global compatibility to offer millimeter wave and sub six bands across the board. Not only that, but it offers global multi-SIM, standalone, non-standalone, and dynamic spectrum sharing. It also packs Qualcomm's new sixth generation AI engine, which brings a completely re-engineered hexagon processor. This offers 26 tera operations per second, and it's further enhanced by the second generation of their sensing hub for more low power intelligent features through AI. We're also getting the most significant upgrade in the Adreno GPU performance, which enables their newest Snapdragon Elite gaming. Now, when it comes to cameras, it triples down on computational photography, and it allows users to capture 2.7 gigapixels per second, which is 35% faster than the previous generation. This is Qualcomm's most powerful mobile platform ever, with 14 OEMs already committing to devices very soon, with Xiaomi, Oppo, and Realme being some of the first. Now, all this said, again, this was just day one. Day two will provide a lot more details of Qualcomm Snapdragon Tech Summit. Set your calendars. It happens tomorrow, December 2nd, 10 a.m. Eastern. We will be sure to provide a link to that live stream in the description. And finally, the hottest news today have to do again with Samsung. Let's bring the company back because, I mean, all eyes on what the company is doing going forward because of all the controversial changes we've been hearing. If you tuned into yesterday's Pocket Now Daily, one of the things we talked about is how Samsung wants to replace the Note with the Z Fold, but that doesn't want to lower the price tag. But now this makes a little more sense. According to a new Sam Mobile report, Sammy will be lowering the Galaxy S21's price tag due to the Galaxy Note's death. The report mentions that Samsung will be dropping the price of the S series by around 100 bucks or more. This would mean that the regular S20 would start at around 899 or 849, the S21 Plus at either 1099 or 1049, and the S21 Ultra dropping by the same margin. This actually would be a pretty big deal as the S20 series didn't sell well reportedly, and it was mainly apparently because of the price tag. Now going back a little to the note, a new Reuters report further confirms that Samsung is not planning to debut a Galaxy Note in 2021, and they will be shifting those resources to develop their foldables. It also mentions that the top model of the S series will bring a stylus as well as the new Z Fold. This means you'll be getting a cheaper S21 Ultra with an S Pen, and that actually sounds pretty sweet if you think about it. But anyways, let us know in the comments down below, what do you think should be the price for the Galaxy S21? What do you think would be the ideal? Because in my case, I think that the company really, really needs to consider a phone that they launch early next year in the $799 price bracket. I think that that is like the sweet spot. And sure, I, I expect it to not have all the features of the other like they did with the S10e, but that was the most beloved Galaxy S10. So I think that that would be the best strategy. We're not the experts though. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me show off the fact that I've got good taste. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.